And just about to get underway as the starting fives have been announced. Sit tight. We'll be back in just a moment. Welcome, everybody. Thanks for joining us for NBA action on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan along with Greg Anthony and Brett Beard. David Aldridge will be reporting from the sidelines. D.A., take it away. Hey, Kevin, thank you. Chris Paul is still searching for his first title. He came close in Houston but was traded and by some was written off as over the hill. CP said, I control what I can. That's preparing to play every night. Doesn't matter how successful my season was or wasn't, I'm always going to strive and push myself. Kevin, back to you. Thank you, D.A. Well, a chance to check out some stats for Russell Westbrook. And, and guys, I think the grind of the season is catching up with him a little bit. It, it comes across in his rebounding numbers. Over the past five games, they've taken a tumble. He seems to be wearing down a bit. Maybe tonight, though, he can get his legs back under it. So the opening lineup for the Suns. Booker and Bridges are the wings. Andre Ayton out there with Jay Crowder. And it's Paul in at the one. And for Washington, Hachimura and Bryant are in the middle. Bradley Beal is out there with Russell Westbrook. And it's Avdia in at the three spot. Terrific talented backcourts tonight, Greg. Did it ever add anything for you playing across another top-level guard? Listen, it raises the stakes, no doubt about it. You always want the opportunity to play against the best because you want to see where you stand. But in the end, even when you know a guy's better than you and you're going to have that be the case a lot of nights, you still know that you will have an ability to impact the outcome when it comes to winning. And, and that's where you have to keep your focus. And so it's the Suns getting on the board first. And he comes up with the deuce. Can't let Beal get that comfortable because he's so efficient once he gets in that area. Paul against Westbrook. That one a tad offline to the right, but drops in for him. And hitting the mid-range jumper here early gives the defense just another thing to think about. Yeah, he's got to be a little bit more on their radar after knocking down something like that. Nailed from three-point land. Well, Westbrook draws so much attention, so takes advantage there, finds a teammate. Here's Booker, and the Suns tack on two more. And right out of the gates, they are locked and loaded. Three straight scores early. Passes to Bryant. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Numbers this year at the line below 70. So when he's getting to the line, not nearly as effective as you'd like. Shooting two. The free throw drops for Bryant. Both free throws good for Bryant. For Phoenix, they've gotten their first three shots to go in for him to start off this game. Paul kicks to Booker. From downtown, another three for Phoenix. Now they can't miss. Four for four and warming up the burners. And so Westbrook will bring it up for the Washington Wizards. It's a three-point game. And Bones, Devin Booker, capable of big nights. One of just a few players with multiple games of at least 59 points. Well, he's always looking to put pressure on the defense, and he's got such a wide array of skills, not only shooting the basketball, but has shown off more of his patience and playmaking ability as he moves through his career. Here's Beal. Devin Booker picking up that last basket. He tries for three. And it's Devin Booker with the rebound. Look at the last game for the Suns. It was a win against the Pacers in Indiana. Gets the three-pointer to fall. 
And how about the start they've gotten off to? They haven't missed once. Westbrook passes to Bryant. And here is Beal. Outside Bryant to stop the run. And that one off the back of the rim and in. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up. Got to fight over it as a defender. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. Booker dishes to Paul. And it's sent back by Bryant. And he gets it back. And, and, and typically, he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that possession. Hachimura. A. Crowder pulls it in. Phoenix leading by six. Paul right side. And here's Booker from the arc. Rebound, Washington. They're moving on after the tough loss they took at the hands of Miami. Yeah, so close in that one, but that's of no solace to the players. Uh, they played their hearts out. And you want to respond in kind, but that last game, it was an effort that most of the time can get you a win. They ran into a tough opponent who was playing at a high level. And Phoenix has possession following the bucket by the Wizards. And again, it's the Suns missing. Washington is gone. One of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. And stolen by Eaton. Bridges, no one around him. Good, and Paul gets the assist. Bridges has got a pair of threes now in the first quarter for Phoenix. Westbrook passes to Beal. Over Paul. Good work defensively by Paul. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that one. Booker finds Crowder. And Crowder slams it in. Well, Booker has established that he can score and now showing that he can playmake. Beal, the pass to Westbrook. The tray hits it from three-point range. Suns leading by six. And here's Booker. He's coming off a 25-point game against Indiana. Here's Paul. And the Suns tack on two more. This is as good as it gets for a first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball. And so Westbrook will bring it up for Washington. And going against Phoenix, their first meeting of the season. And this was as even a matchup as you'll find in the NBA. Split the season series down the middle, one apiece. Very difficult to imagine it'll be much different this season. These teams still appear to be very closely matched, each with talent to be competitive, but not necessarily elite. So here's Westbrook. The Suns getting the bucket. And the rejection by Eaton. Well, he has the size and can get up quickly. Aiton with the throwback. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Wizards trail by nine. Pass to Beal. Plenty of space. No good off the back of the rim. Uh, the defense better tighten up on the mid-range there. Much, much tighter. You expect him to make every single one of those. And off to an incredible start here early from long range. So timeout called here. The first for Washington. Greg, obviously, we're early on here. We already have seen some second-year players looking much more improved over their rookie year. I mean, if you put in the work, you're not guessing as much. And listen, the fact that you now have gone through the season, you've got a better sense of who you are and what you can do out on the floor. Uh, I know I cut way back on my turnovers at the start mm. of my second year, and you go into the offseason with specific goals and areas where you want to improve. You think there's more growth between your first and second year than any other two years in your career? It, it, you could make that case, no doubt about it, because that's you're, you're still thinking you could be one of the all-time greats no matter who you are at that stage, and so you tend to put in a little more emphasis in terms of uh, improvement. 